You guys, I have so many cool things to show you. Today I have a haul video for you. Some of these items I got at my local thrift stores and some of the items I scored on Facebook Marketplace, which has become my very favorite place to source vintage items. So I can't wait to show you what I got. First, I'm gonna take you shopping with me. Then we're gonna do a midway through haul in the car because I hate waiting until the end of a haul video to see what someone picked up at the thrift store. And then after that, I'm gonna bring everything back home, show you how I styled it on my shelf, and then also let you know what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna sell in my Etsy shop. So let's get thrifting. <music> that I went to is actually known for really good pricing so I scored some really cute stuff at a pretty affordable price some of it would actually have been a little bit more at the Goodwill so I was excited to find some really cool pieces okay so the first item that I got was this awesome little vase uh, it's really wabi-sabi which is like a hot buzz term right now in interior design it just means something that's like um, obviously handmade, well-loved, not perfect. So that's what I kind of liked about it. Um, I, I don't know if it was someone's art piece. It does not have any sort of artist markings on the bottom. So it may have been someone's like first try at hand building a pot. Um, but I just couldn't get over the colors. I thought they were really on trend. The desert tones are super popular right now. And yeah, I just think the shape is just really, really interesting. And it was only $2.99, which is amazing. So um, yeah, I can't wait to see this style with some other um, pieces of pottery in that same color palette. So the next item is a sweet little basket. Uh, baskets, as you know, are something that I'm always looking for when I go to the thrift store, um, particularly things that are smaller in size. This one has a little bit of fading, but I actually kind of think it's okay. If you look inside, you can, I don't know if that's coming across on screen, but if you look inside, the colors are a little bit more vibrant, definitely more pinks, greens. Um, but when on the outside, they faded into these lovely desert tones again. Um, so I just could not pass it up. Actually, it kind of looks really cool with this um, little pot right there that I just showed. So this was only $4.99, which I thought was a, a really good deal for something that's hand woven um, from this like grass uh, material. So could not pass it up. So I had to get it. So the next thing I want to show you is this really cute um, ceramic pitcher. Um, usually you see these much larger, so I thought the shape and the color and the size were just amazing. I have some people in the family that um, actually do pottery, and I can appreciate how much effort it takes to make things that are symmetrical and handles that are beautifully you know, placed. It's just... It just wasn't a stunning piece, and so I just could not pass it up. This will be available in my um, Etsy shop, along with some of the other items in the video. This was only $4.99, which I thought was a really amazing deal for something that was um, handmade just like this. The final two items I'm gonna show you are actually not home decor pieces, but they are fashion pieces. When I'm out thrifting, I'm always looking for cool jewelry, shoes, clothes, um, anything that is on trend at an affordable price. So I'm picking up that stuff too. So I'm not just home decor, I just sell home decor on my Etsy shop. So the first wearable piece that I got was this really 
frankly tacky gold necklace. Um, these were really popular a few decades ago and unfortunately, fortunately, I don't know, they have come back into style. So I didn't want to spend a lot of money on pieces like this because to me, you know, it's just like a piece that's it's not a forever piece. And so when it's not a forever piece, then I definitely want to get it at a good price. So I could not pass this up. It was $10.99 with um, a half off sticker. So that made it, um, you know, half the price. So I thought that was really cool. Um, I can't wait to wear it with like a white t-shirt in the summer, style it up um, with some of the other vintage jewelry that I have picked up lately. So yeah, I just could not pass it up, especially for the price. So the final items I'm going to show you are these awesome gold loafers. Now I know these are not for everybody, but I have told people that when I am allowed to go out on the town, dine out and do all the things that I haven't been able to do because of quarantine and the pandemic, that I'm going to be extremely extra in what I'm wearing. So this is factoring into that whole mantra that I have. So these um, are Kenneth Cole reactions. So they're like a decent, decent quality shoe. I don't even know if they've really been worn, probably because they are so extra. Um, it's just so gold and eye catching, but they were $8.99 half off. So I got them for $4.50. So I was like, shoot for that price. I'll take these suckers home. So, um, yeah, I cannot wait to style these up. So that's all I have in the car for you, but the full haul with all the other cool stuff that I've scored at my local thrift stores and on Facebook marketplace is coming up. already saw it in the midway through car haul. The first thing is this really cute basket. I pick up baskets all the time. This one, I just really love the color and the size, and I don't see this type of shape that often, um, so I just had to pick it up. And then this really cool desert tone piece of pottery. You know, desert tones are really hot right now, and so this was a must-have piece. And then also this blue pitcher. I can't get enough of pottery like I keep saying. And this blue was just absolutely stunning. And so actually all three of these items are gonna be available in my Etsy shop. So the next item you might remember from the thrift haul and from shopping is this really cool choker style gold necklace. Gold necklaces, especially something chunky or something with chains is very big right now. So anytime I see them at the thrift store, I'm definitely picking them up. Another item that I picked up is this awesome, long, chunky gold chain necklace. This is definitely like fake gold, it's costume jewelry. But I love the fact that I can size it big, I can size it small, vary um, the different sizes. It can be like a choker and then a long one. There's just a lot of versatility. So this is like another example of that gold jewelry trend um, that you can pick up. Actually, if you can find them even chunkier than this, that is even more on trend. And it's kind of nice to have a variety because then you can layer them, style them, um, and then create something that's really interesting for your outfit. So now I'm gonna show you some of the items you haven't seen. Well, okay, you may have seen some of them because you did see some of the thrift footage earlier in the video. So the first item is this really cool, really chunky blue and gray vase. It actually has some like structural cracking in it, but because it's still so solid, I could not pick it up because the shape and the colors were just really on trend, very, very 
um, beautiful, very deep, saturated. Um, I always look for stamping on the bottom of pottery, and this one has a very unique stamp. If you watch my last video, I kind of previewed it when I talked about spring trends, but I'll show it here again on the screen. It says, to James, how come? Not sure what that means. Very weird thing to put on the bottom of a piece of pottery, um, but I still think it adds to like the charm of the piece. So this is actually available in my Etsy shop right now. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is actually one of my favorites. Now, if you know me, you know I don't love brown. However, this is almost like tiger-like. I thought the stripes were kind of like a tiger and I absolutely love animal prints. I have so many leopard print tops, bags, shoes. I'm a little obsessed. My husband does not like it. He does not like animal prints, but I can't help it. I think animal print is like a neutral, so I have to pick it up. So when I saw this, I was like, you know what? whatever it's brown i don't care because it almost looks like a tiger so this piece i thought was very cool it's um in beautiful condition i love the shape i love the little handle on top obviously i love the striping i love the fact that there's little specks of glaze um, as well and it's definitely more of a textural piece of pottery which made it really unique so this i think i probably will sell in my Etsy shop um, because I don't decorate with a lot of brown around the house so I'm not exactly sure where I would put it but this piece I just thought was absolutely unique and stunning. So the next thing I want to show you are these awesome brass candlesticks. Now if you can find candlesticks as a pair when you're out thrifting definitely pick them up because it's really hard to actually find pairs sometimes especially these really unique ones. I thought these were just stunning. They're super solid and heavy. I kind of liked the two-tone brass here. So this is like a lighter brass tone and this is like a more aged brass tone. Um, but I thought it was a kind of interesting. Not only is the shape interesting, but the actual patina, um, which is also a fancy way of saying wear on the pieces was, was really cool. So I definitely had to pick these up, especially since I got them into a pair. I actually think I only paid $3 a piece for these, which is absolutely crazy uh, because I think they're just very stunning and will look awesome styled on a shelf. The next piece I'm going to show you is something I have been looking for for a very, very long time. And when you see it, you'll probably be like, why? <laughs> but I will explain. Okay, so here is the piece that I have been looking for forever. I know what you're thinking. You're like, really? A statue of the Virgin Mary is what you've been looking out for while thrifting for this long? And the answer is yes, and also yes, I know it's weird. So to give you some background, my grandma was definitely very Catholic growing up, and so she had artifacts like this around the house. And then also Italy is one of my very favorite places to visit in pretty well the whole world. And if you've ever been to Italy, you know religious artifacts like this are everywhere. And so every time I see something like this, it, I immediately think of Italy, my very favorite place, and then also memories of my grandma. So I know you can like buy these at like your local Catholic store, like new, but I wanted to wait until I found one that had like the perfect coloring and also the perfect amount of like wear and tear. So this piece I just love because I thought the blue was really rich and saturated and then she had this lovely red heart in the very middle of her. So anyways, I know it's super weird, um, but I do have a thing for religious um, items. I don't have that many in my home. Like, like I think I have like a handful of religious items in my home, but I will show you pictures of some of the really cool nun paintings that I have. Well, they're prints of paintings, um, that they're kind of quirky and I definitely could not pass those up when I saw them at the thrift store. This was like years ago, um, but I'll pop a few pictures on the screen so you can see those too. So the next item is of course, another piece of pottery to show you but I could not pass this guy up. I thought that the colors were absolutely phenomenal. It's this really light and rich blue combined with the different types of gray, a little bit of brown. I thought that just the color story on this piece was absolutely phenomenal. And the shape, I mean, I just cannot get over the shape. It has, you know, obviously the interesting silhouette and then it also has this like grooving in it. This will be available in my Etsy shop. I almost didn't list it because I really do love it. Um, it's also artist sign on the bottom, which is really a cool feature. So the next item I paid a little up for. Usually would not pay as much as I did. So I paid $20, well actually let's see, 1975. So basically $20 on this wooden um, handmade vase. 
It is um, definitely vintage and how you can tell, actually I still have a sticker on it, how you can tell is the green type of felting. The felt color on different types of home decor pieces will kind of clue you into the age. Green and maroon are usually used in vintage pieces where black is definitely more common um, nowadays when you have something that requires like a, like a soft padding on the bottom. But I thought the shape of this was absolutely stunning. Um, it's, it has this really soft part up here and then it's extremely textural down here. And it has a lot of like, I'm not sure exactly what type of wood this is. It almost looks like teak because of the color, but I don't think it is teak because it has all these little black specks in it. So if you happen to know like your species of wood, maybe let me know in the comments uh, what type of wood this is. Um, but this will be available in my Etsy shop. But yeah, like I said, this was just a stunning handmade piece and I couldn't not pick it up. The next item I'm really excited about, it is this huge vintage basket. Now, I know you're probably thinking, didn't you just say you never find these baskets? And you're absolutely right. But surprise, the thrift gods blessed me and I actually found two very similar types of baskets. Um, so obviously this one is the little guy and then this is the big brother of those baskets. I really like this one because I love the kind of the unrefined edges right here um, and the big handle. I mean, this would look stunning on a kitchen island with fruit in it. Um, really, I mean, on a shelf. I mean, it has such visual weight. Um, you really don't need to do a whole ton of styling around it because it, on its own, it's just such a stunning and really kind of sculptural piece. So when I saw this, it was only $6.99, if you can believe it. I was just like, yes, please, it's coming home. I haven't decided if I'm going to sell it or not because I do really like it. But as you know, brown is not really my thing, but I do like baskets, kind of my exception when it comes to brown. So I may have to keep this because it is really that cool. So the last item I'm going to show you is from Facebook Marketplace. So when I saw this, I had to get it. I absolutely love wall hangings. I think they're a great alternative to framed art. Um, I have a lot of art in my home and having something like this is really great at breaking up just frame piece of art, frame piece of art, frame piece of art is really great alternative. They're very on trend right now, as you probably know and have seen. This one has a lot of like the signature knots, I guess they're called knots, um, that you'll see in other macrames in terms of like the swirl stitch and this is more like a chain link stitch. But I really thought it was just very cool. I like the fact that the fibers we're more of a natural fiber. I hate the synthetic fibers that you sometimes see in vintage wall hangings where like it doesn't fray, it like gets all like bushy and icky. I don't know how to explain it, but um, I thought this was a really great piece. It has like the wooden dowels throughout that I thought were a really nice tone. And it kind of has this like long tail. Um, so I thought this piece, especially the colors, I just could not um, let it go. I had, I had to get it. It was only $10, which is crazy so of course it went fast and I was very excited to score this piece so this probably will be up in my Etsy shop although I may keep it for myself just because like I said I really like to mix it up with woven things but I have so much art in my home I'm gonna have to replace the piece with this and I just don't know if I can do that with the really cool pieces that I have my husband doesn't like boho he likes more modern art and that's primarily what we have in our home so I'll have to see if I can convince him into having this up. So if I can, I'll show you guys a picture on my Instagram, uh, but otherwise this is gonna be coming to my Etsy shop. So that's all I have for you today. I know some of these pieces, you're probably wondering how much I paid for them because I think I forgot to tell you on a few of them how much I paid. So usually, generally, I try to stick to a price point of like $10 and under per piece. This is very doable if you're shopping at like your Goodwill or local hole in the wall thrift store. You go to an estate sale, or you go to consignment stores or actual like vintage antique places, it can be a little bit more challenging to find pieces in that price range. Um, but they definitely are out there. You just have to go to more places to find the good stuff at the right prices. And like I mentioned, some of these items are available now in my Etsy shop, which I also linked below. I can't wait to see you in my next thrifting and decorating video. Take care.